So hello guys, this is Ivan back again with a new concept on optical properties of atmosphere. So without wasting time, let's start. Let me tell you, this is one of the very important kind of concepts for CSIR exams and a lot of questions are from this part only. So in this slide, we are going to uh, know about a certain phenomena which are occurring in our atmosphere and how, what is the science behind it how it really occurs so without wasting time let's start so here we can see that there are two pictures of los angeles one is of a smoggy day one is of clear day so the visibility here is high while here it is low what is the reason behind it basically it is due to the suspended particles in the atmosphere we know that if any particle is suspended in the atmosphere it either reflect refract or absorb or scatter the light right so due to the suspended aerosol particles aerosol is nothing but a suspended solid or liquid particles in the atmosphere which can uh, attenuate the light okay so before going to deep in the this optical physics let me clear you the basics like what is light yeah seriously today i am going to light you because we we don't even know what a light is what exactly it means because for me it's a very confusing concept let me tell you a short story of my life when i was in the seventh standard my teachers told me light is a ray it travels in a straight line bounces off a surface follows a very important geometric law that is angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection goes here comes there and all and it follows a linear manner. Life is very beautiful that time. I like this concept and for three years everything is good for me until I went to 11th standard. All of a sudden they told me that light is a wave. It's like if you throw a rock in a pond it generates waves and ripples and light is similar to that. I said okay fine I can live with that. Then I went to 12th standard. Now the story changed. They told me light is a stream of particle. It's like if you hold a torch of light like a machine gun and you are shooting a object and the shooting objects are due are basically by the little bullets of light and these bullets are nothing but the photons. What is photons? Photons is the elementary particles of the light. At the top of all in 12th Again, they told me that light has a dual nature. It acts as a wave and a particle. Now, I begin to get confused. When I went to college, they told me that now we will tell you what light really means. It is neither a wave nor a particle. Suddenly, I lost my mind. It is out of my vision. In the third year, when I studied quantum physics, they said me, they told me that light is basically depends upon the experiment what you perform. Sometimes it acts as a wave, sometimes as a particle. It all depends upon your experiment. So at last, like I I I forgot everything. Like I'm confused, I'm totally confused. My mind lost and then I start researching about this what exactly a light means then I come to a certain results I give you an example and with that example I will tell you what light means suppose we are using a Google Maps right in every environment models it is there sometimes we are using this physical maps Sometimes we are using the political map which is showing the state capital and all. Sometimes we are using the traffic maps. All are showing a map of a certain place like India. But all are different. Every map has its own properties. It 
its own uses but all are same no all are belongs to the india only in the same way different properties of light are used for different methods for different things suppose if you want to know how the image built how to build a telescope then we consider light as a ray if you want to study interference diffraction you should consider light as a wave and if you want to know about photoelectric effect if you want to know how the solar cells are charged then we have to have the knowledge of particle nature of light so in this way this ray wave particles everything is same but at the end all are different they are used in different methods different kind of studies so with that i think you all know now what is a light means okay so now moving to the next slide so the objectives of this slide is to know the behavior of light in a classical and quantum physics we already studied and know through this story how it changes in classical and in quantum in quantum it depends upon the experiment and classical it act as a sometimes ray or a wave or a particle then a refraction and its relation with the scattering and absorption effects of refraction by aerosol on atmospheric optics and finally the case study so let's start what a refraction means so basically in this chapter we study about the behavior of atmospheric particles or atmosphere on refraction how the atmosphere is get changed by the refraction so refraction is defined as the bending of a rays as they pass through the atmosphere now why it bends why exactly it works so here we can see that through this uh, animation see this car is moving from one media to the another media when this car is in the second media the first tire is in contact with the second media while all three are in the first media only so we know that every media has its own friction has its own density now again see this so when this first tire comes in contact with the second media the friction is different for the first tire while the all three tires in the same in the previous media where the friction is different that means the velocity or you can say the rpm rate for this this front tire and all these th three tires is different so it slightly bends in the same way when light moves through the different medium the density is different right and due to this different density the velocity and the angle changes see the formula for this is m is equal to c by bp where c is the velocity of light in a vacuum and p is the uh, speed of light in a material so and this whole formula depends upon the density of the medium okay now moving to the next slide fermat's principle in optics a fermat's principle or a principle of least time named after the mathematician fermat is the principle that a path taken between the two points by a ray of light is the path that can be traversed in a less time means light always choose that path in which it has to travel a short distance see if light is coming like this and if the media is same it moves like this right so if you choose this path the distance is more right compared to this one but according to this principle light always chooses that path between two points which is very short so it changes its angle towards the normal and then choose the this path o cube okay sorry for that so moving to the next index of refraction so now this is the formula where this 
uh, scattering and absorption as well as refraction are interrelated okay so this is the formula here this aim is, is scattering and this one is absorption we uh, know this scattering plus absorption is sometimes called attenuation of light okay now scattering portion measured with the snail's law so here we can see that m1 by m2 is equal to sin theta 2 by sin theta 1 used to describe the two phase system a particle of air so we use this formula to distinguish different phases and to solve the different formulas like different problems on that for aim uh, air aim is considered as one refractive index while for a vacuum the refractive index considered as a one also but in the case of aerosol particle it is more or less uh, similar to that like maybe more than or maybe less than in points now index of refraction absorption often measured via spectrophotometry so the formula for absorption is 4 pi a by lambda here a is the bulk absorption and this a we already know from the previous formula this a is nothing but this formula if a is equal to 0 means the particles are aerosols most particles are aerosol in nature while if a is not equal to 0 means the material is electrically conductive in nature so it's a good conductor that. for the sun appears to be in the sky still it is below the horizon why it happened so in refraction of incoming solar radiation is greatest when the sun is the, is low over the horizon as the low solar angle cause rays to pass through a greater amount of atmosphere that means if sun is away from the sun uh, earth here the light has to travel a longer distance to reach to the eyes of observer so the longer wavelength of color undergoes a less refraction than to a shorter wavelength colors which concentrate near the top of the sun when some atmospheric condition the sun appears momentarily to be clapped by a bright green spot that is called green flash so uh, again if someone ask that why the green flash happen in the atmosphere then the answer should be it's due to the refraction of the light and also due to the same reason we uh, the sun appears red at sunrise as well as sunset moving to the next slide now mirage seeing is not believing whatever you see is not exactly it is a mirage a mirage is an image that appears displaced from the true position caused by the light moving through the different air densities now there are two kinds of mirrors one is inferior mirrors other is superior mirrors image that appears lower inverted from the original is called inferior mirrors and superior mirrors is a image that appears higher than the original if it is shorter or inverted then inferior if higher than original then it is called superior so here inferior mirrors now you, we can see that the in this figure here the whole clouds are merged into the road this is a kind of inverted image so inferior mirrors warm surface decreasing temperature aloft low temp low density is formed over here while the density over here is high as compared to the surface now due to this the uh, due to the refraction formed by the different densities we have this image the proper condition for the inferior mirrors are commonly found over a hot road surface during summer or uh, over an unfrozen lack on a very cold day so again here we can see that the line due to this the mirage is formed inverted in nature so let's see superior mirrors so in a case of superior mirrors things appear to be high from the original we know that sometimes due to some air masses at certain heights as we move up temperature increases instead of decreases it it increased now suppose when the light is coming from the peak of the mountain 
it travels first from the warm air mass then cold air mass and we know that the density of the cold air mass is more so it diverted towards the normal so if we uh, draw the line in the same direction the peak appears to be high <coughs> this is an example of superior mirrors now halos halos are the ring of a light encircling the sun or a moon so it may form due to the sun as well as moon ice crystal refract the light to create a halo now for the formation of this halo we have to have this cirrus cloud cirrus zero status clouds and we know that in zero status clouds a lot of ice crystals are there they actually refract the light to create a circular pattern around the sun as well as moon the most prominent halo is 22 degree halo Uh, why it is called 22 degree halo because it here you can see that it makes a 22 degree angle with the line of a sunlight that's why it is called a 22 degree halo and uh, remember it is always formed by the zero status clouds how does aerosol affect the ground based observations we know that uh, this aerosol are nothing but a suspended particles in the atmosphere which have a tendency to attenuate light either reflect refract scatter whatever it is it attenuates light so the best ground based sites for the astronomical observations are calm not too windy high less atmosphere to see through it should be high it should be dark far from the city light and dry few clouds at night that's why we use uh, this hawaii because it is not too windy it's uh, at a certain height again it's a dark far from the city and dry cloud night sky is there but uh, sometimes mm, better than hawaii we have some places in the earth like if we use space for our ground based observation that is better than this hawaii also so here you can see that there is calm, calm high dark dry the best observing sites for the uh, Uh, astronomical things this is the summit of mauna kea hawaii now why this twinkling and turbulence occur when the star viewed from the ground based telescope in the high aerosol condition it looks like this because a lot of aerosols are there to see the uh, to to decrease the um, what to say pixel of stars while if we put the same telescope in the space there is nothing so the same star viewed with the hubble telescope is more clear that means a turbulent air flow in the earth atmosphere distorts our view causing stars to appear or twinkle so this is the case study just leave it this much for today thank you very much hope you like it Please do like comment and subscribe my video